Good morning, world. We are out here scouting today for Captain Kyle Groh's upcoming tournament. Uh, today we're going to be testing out some different techniques for one, finding redfish and also catching redfish in a new area that we've never fished before. Uh, this is something that we haven't done yet or we haven't covered um, through our videos. Um, so I'm actually going to be showing something pretty unique, which is how we scout new areas um, from the office, which would be you know on the computer, on Google Earth. So I'm going to walk through that a little bit later in this video series. Be sure to check that out. Um, it really helps looking from above, looking from a Google Earth image to see uh, the lay of the land in the area that you're going to be fishing. Like I said, we've never been to this area before. We've just scouted it out via Google Earth and we know what the tide's going to be, we know what the weather conditions are, and now we're going to take this information and we're going to apply it out here on the water. So hopefully we're going to catch some fish today. We'll be fishing with the Osprey CE 2500s, seven foot uh, assault rods by Bull Bay Rods, and also some seven foot six assault rods by Bull Bay Rods. So we're going to be putting the gear to the test in a real world application. Hopefully we're going to have some similar results to what we had last time where Kyle actually got second place after we scouted fishing the Power Pole Redfish series, or sorry, the Live series in particular. Um, hopefully this time um, he's going to get a first place finish, but we'll see. Wish us luck and uh, we'll see you all in a few. All right, ladies and germs, we are out here. Got my boy, Captain Kyle Grell on the back. We are pre-fishing for his upcoming tournament this weekend. We got young Tucker down there eating a treat right now. He's probably gonna be barking a little bit. This is new to him out here on the water. So he's still learning, learning the ways of the angler. So you'll probably hear a little bit of barking from that, that pup. I guess we could turn this into a uh, how to catch redfish slash how to train your puppy to be a skiff dog video, huh? <laughs> Kyle actually has a new puppy too. Yeah, right now Kyle and I both have new puppies. I got a Australian cattle dog and he has a American bull terrier, English bull terrier. Both two are they're the two two of the most difficult dogs to to raise. So we have definitely taken on a bit of a challenge. This does does yeah I say we just hit the shoreline down and then keep on moving after yeah. oh yeah that's that's gotta be a red all right you want to turn us and kind of I don't want to get too much closer I don't think they'd be right on on the shoreline I think they'll be off it kind of like that fish yep there is another there's another one That was a great boil. That was a great boil right there. He's just coming right at the boat, man. No, oyster, oyster. First one was definitely a fish. That one was, that one was oyster. Yep. That was funny. Tricked. All right, so uh, spot number one, we did find some fish. There's a little bit of a deeper island around a bunch of shallower water. And uh, we ended up pushing up too close to the island. We spooked out these fish. But at the end of the day, we are scouting. The goal here is to find fish, not necessarily catch fish. And so we did find a good number of fish. We pushed through. We had two other boats that are fishing in an area that we wanted to try out. So at this point, we're now moving on to spot number three. And then we're going to keep on heading out from there as this tide comes in. So uh, hopefully we find some more fish. Hopefully we push some fish in the boat. And yeah, we'll see some action here in, in the near future. Well. We're at uh, spot number three after we kind of got ran out of the first couple spots with people. Uh, unfortunately, Tucker, uh, he took a nice nap. He's being real good. And then now he's, uh, he's getting really overly excited. We think we saw a group of fish pushing off here in this uh, cove in front of us. So we are going to uh, pull up in there and see if Kyle can get one of these fish to eat. Or at least see what they are. At first, look like I mean, it almost looked like dolphins pushing on the flat. Was, they were waking up so much. But it looks like it could be big redfish, big black drum, maybe jacks. We'll find out soon enough. I had to smoke it. Get it, get it, get it. Got it, got it. Good job, good job. Can you hit that GoPro on? That boy. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Well, that's what we came out here to do, ladies and gents. Boom, got a beautiful fish on. 
Tucker really likes ham. Basically brothers. Tucker, easy bubba. All right, buddy. Send him back. Gotta get that uh, anchor set. Water's nice and cool. You can cook, cook right on. You can hold over the foot and over Oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. He's like, what just happened? Good eye, guy. Thanks, brother. Oh, you want to come back to the bow? Uh, I can stay up here. All right, so as we move from spot number two to spot number three, I wanted to show you guys really quickly what we're looking at on Google Earth when we're looking to find new areas that we've never fished before. So we actually found this area on Google Earth originally. We talked to a few buddies that fish in this area, and they did say that they have found fish in this area, good fish. Um, and so it gave us a little more confidence going in. But before we knew what we were looking at, we just saw an area here that looked unique. You have a bay right here that has open water access to the west, and then you have a bunch of these fingerling creeks that are basically flowing into it or from it um, that typically will, will hold fish. So one thing I do want to point out is we typically are looking for an image that's going to show or highlight the tide that we think that we're going to be fishing. So on this particular day with Kyle, we're going to be fishing a little bit of a lower incoming tide. So this particular uh, year, we have a, a look at this area on a lower tide. So this tells me right here, I got a little bit of deeper water in this creek around this point. There's a little bit deeper water on this point as well. You can't see it as much here, but you can tell with the sand, you have the grass here and then a little bit of sand around that point. It does drop off a little bit with the trough. There's also some deeper water in this creek and some deeper water in this creek too. Um, so we were actually fishing the lower incoming tide. And so initially we were gonna work our way back into the backcountry bays, but when we first pulled into this area, we saw some fish pushing across this water here. So we worked our way around the coves in this little bay. Kyle actually picked up a really nice fish here on the south end of this shoreline. And then we worked our way back into these ponds uh, to chase some fish. So I encourage you guys to continue watching and see what we find in this next spot. But this is just a great tip. When you're looking for a new area to fish, you can jump through these images uh, looking at different years, and this will give you a little bit of a idea of what to look for or what the lay of the land is going to look like when you're fishing a new area you've never fished before. For. So hopefully this helps you guys out, and stay tuned as we catch some fish. I don't like this mouth tie. No, I keep moving then. Like I said, it's kind of tiny. Yeah. It doesn't look the best. Not to say that they could definitely get in there. Yeah, it'll just be harder to get out with how skinny it is. And yep, there's not a lot of room. tide blowing the other direction. Makes you feel better, I'll make a cast up in there for you. We're right off the bow, I got two fish coming right at us. Yeah, I got them. Boy. There we go. That's how you do it. I'm gonna push this out of here. Trying to. Might be some more fish coming down too. Yeah, there are a couple more. It looks like mullet though. Oh, that woke him up. A little bit of a better fish. Maybe the same size you got. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. Come on. Not a stud, but hey, nice fish. A no spot, actually. It's okay, Tucker. Leave him, bud. Leave him. Leave him be. Channel hey, hey, let go, let go. <laughs> He's uh, about the same size as the one you got. Yep. Four pounder or so. Tucker's really uh, enjoying him right now. I know, Tuck. I know, buddy. Exciting. Call it. Call it a day with him. Ready? Pull. 
with water, but they're not kicking off super strong. See ya. Ugh. We want to do here switch up or so we were actually looking at this little creek mouth decided not to go into it but we were really tight to the shoreline but you gave us a good vantage point down this shoreline i actually saw two fish cruising right at us made a nice cast in front of one of them and got to eat it's a little shallower up at this uh mouth yeah they, they could, could be, be up in there. there they could be around the uh little mangrove roots up there there are little shoots sticking out yep right up here yes sir it could be in the right too like inside of that little opening yeah a lot of times we'll sit behind some of that grass or sit right behind the mangroves just that's, chilling yeah that's why we say this might be a better low tide spot so the fish can't get up in there yeah they're trapped out here on this edge yeah makes it easier for us fishermen Yeah, work uh, smarter, not harder. That's what they fish say. There. You got a few? Looks fishy. Oh, got them, got them, got them. Three or four reds, nice, nice. Oh, there's some bigger ones in there too. Yep. All right, brother, good job. Good job. Yeah, right now it seems like uh, the guy in the bow definitely has better eyes on the fish. I, uh, I'm gonna try and pull us out a little bit since we are so close. There's another group of fish right here. I don't know if you guys yeah, can see, see them. them right here on this edge. They're too. all right up where we were talking about, right along these mangroves. Oh, look at those fish. Those are big ones. Yeah, too. those are nice. Very nice. Well, that's what we're looking for. This is what we came out here to do. Still catching that same mid slot size. Yeah, but during tournament day, you can be a little more picky and kind of pick and choose when you're casting at them. Especially after you have something in the boat. Yep. Exactly. Oh, he's a better fish. Yeah, actually, it's a much, much better fish than my fish. Oh, tuck. I know, buddy. Exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. A little bit bigger. 24, 25? Yeah. Give you a little bit of extra confidence on tournament day. Yes, sir. Oh, careful. Ouch. I know, Tuck. Oh, he's gone. It's okay. There you you mind go. if I sit up here? No. No, I'll switch up. Sure. That's quick. How are we doing battery wise? Getting low. Getting low. Might be time to switch it out soon. We'll let it roll for a little. Uh, I think there's a couple different ways. I think you want to go left though. I think you can go right, but let's see. Yeah, I'd go right, and then it looks like you can cut left, and then there's like a, a long strip that goes straight. It's almost like a, looks like someone just ran a, a path from here straight to those deeper really? ponds. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper there. And in, and in these ponds, these fish, they almost float in here. They're just on that grass, happy, carefree, and they're just waiting for baits just to come near them. So, they're almost just floating in these ponds. It's actually pretty cool. In this corner here, cause that fish, look at all those mullet. Anything? Not yet. Ooh, that's a, look at that. maybe it's a mullet shine. Look like more like a red. Oh, right here. Really good fish right there. Oh, I thought he ate it. See him right there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They could just all be back here. There's another one back here. Oh, short cast. Just a short cast. Got one. Good fish. Really good fish. Maybe not really good. Better fish. Better fish. They could be in that corner too. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Oh, it's okay. Hey, hey, he's a friend, he's a friend. See ya. A little bit of red. 
head. Oh, those are all mullet, maybe. To your right. Yeah, the fish I see sitting, like kind of what we've been seeing now, Smaller. on the other end are, are bigger. Right to your right, get this one right here if you don't mind. This little guy. I just want to see if he, he's hungry. Bring it in again one more time. Down there feeding. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, that's cool, bro. <laughs> oh, just watching the eat, man. That is so that's fun. That's awesome. That is so much fun. Got that one. Got that eat. Hey, do you, do you have a rod ready? Uh, I do. See that snook? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up, Tucker. Hold up, two snook. I need to get him. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. I'm telling you, those snook are so much more finicky. The redfish are hungry. You can kind of see them nose down, tail up. That was cool. Can I just, can I love go? Yep, send them back. Oh, that's fun though, man. That is real fun. I know you're scouting, but. Oh no, that is fun. That's, that is good footage, right? That's good footage right there. Yeah, I was rolling, right? Uh, yep. Perfect. Well, this is a wrap on, uh, on today. It's been a good day. Caught six or seven reds. We saw some bigger ones. Gone through some narrow stuff like you're seeing us going through right now. Very narrow. Very narrow. But there's fish. I mean, you gotta be willing to go into areas that other people can't get into in order to find good fish sometimes. And this is just one of those areas. If you got a skinny water boat, you can find some good fish back in this area.